but without further ado, let's get right into my best bet. So my best bet for UFC 306 is going to be none other than Valentina Shevchenko at plus 120 money line outright to win. So as you all know, uh, this is going to be the trilogy for this fight. The last fight ended in a draw. And, uh, you know, just for full disclosure, in the last fight, I personally had a, a few bets on Alexa Grosso. And I remember, so it was weird. So by the end of the fight, I thought that Alexa Grosso had won the fight. Uh, especially because she got that big knockdown in the second round. Um, and I forgot, I forgot what happened in the fourth, but she also had another, I think she might have gone her back maybe in the fourth. Uh, she had another big moment. And then in the fifth, uh, she was able to, uh, again, get her down, uh, towards the end of the fifth round. So I had thought Alexa Ross had done enough to win the fight, but. You know, ended up in a draw. But what's uh, interesting is during the fight, you know, in the first four, four and a half rounds, I was, you know, thinking to myself, you know, we probably lost because Shevchenko looked like the better fighter. And I had wished that I had a Shevchenko ticket as opposed to, uh, you know, my bet on Grosso. You know, for this fight, like, I don't, I don't really understand why, um, Shevchenko is at plus money. You know, it doesn't really make sense to me. Uh, you know, I get that she's 36, you know, a year older. She could be showing signs of slowing down. But, you know, like, during, like watching those first two fights, without Alexa Grosso's big moments, uh, Shevchenko wins that fight easily, right? And uh, I think, you know, obviously, these big moment, these big moments happen during UFC events. I mean, during fights, uh, and judges obviously uh, place bigger emphasis on fighters that you know are able to showcase those big moments. And I guess when you look at the power difference, uh, it seems like Shevchenko reacts poorly to Grosso's strikes. Uh, especially ones that land. Whereas, you know, if it's just a point fighting contest, Chevchenko lands more volume, is able to hit the target a lot more. And, um, you know, Grosso, like her leg kicks just don't seem like they, they're on, they're on range at all. And so, yeah, I really don't understand this line movement. Um, I know it opened at a minus 145 for, Alexa Grosso, and, you know, all, immediately it shot up to uh, minus 115, which, you know, I would understand, right? Uh, that makes sense just because, you know, in, in my eyes, Shevchenko clears Grosso, you know, without those big moments. Um, but since then, it's bet, been bet back, back down to minus 140. So very strange to me. Like, I, I really don't understand why. Um, so I'm gonna need you guys in the comments to tell me why Rosso is aside here because just from judging the first two fights, Shevchenko looks way better, right? Striking, uh, if she's in trouble, she can utilize her grappling when Rosso gets frustrated at uh, being unable to land her shots. So yeah, my money's gonna be on Shevchenko to win. Uh, so I already have a bet in. Um, just so you all know, this is going to be a your pick bet. We already locked it in. Uh, just for full disclosure, we locked it in at a worse price. So got in at plus 105. Uh, now it's a plus 120. Yeah, again, just strange. You know, I thought Shevchenko was going to trend towards uh, being the favorite, but it looks like I'm wrong here. So again, you know, in the comment, Section, please tell me why Grosso is aside because I just can't see it personally.